Judge Mike Schneider not only found CBS caseworker LeVar Jones and his supervisor Naisha Edwards lied under oath to take Michael and Melissa Bright's two kids from them, he says they didn't even tell the couple about the removal, which is required by law. The thing that bothers me the most is that these were investigative workers, yet they did nothing. Not only was there no proper investigation, Jones sought an emergency order, claiming the kids were in immediate danger, even though he hadn't laid eyes on them for more than 30 days. The CPS workers were convinced Melissa Bright caused her five-month-old son's head injury, even though there was no proof of that. It was devastating. No mother should have to do that. The Bright's attorneys told CPS, give the couple their kids back, and they would not seek sanctions against the agency. CPS refused, and now Judge Snyder has given them the stiffest sanctions to date. On December the 5th, CPS must appear in his court with a plan on how to retrain almost every CPS employee in the Houston region on laws regarding the removal of children. He also ordered the agency to pay the Brights $127,000 for their legal fees and other expenses the ordeal cost them. We had two goals. The first was to get our kids back, and then the second was to become change agents. And bringing the Brights ordeal to light has rocked CPS's status quo. I cannot fathom that CPS hasn't gotten the message that it's wrong to take people's children and lie about it. But judging by the reaction of CPS officials who were in the courtroom when the judge imposed the sanctions, the agency doesn't seem to care. As we were ending the sanctions hearing, LeVar Jones was in the back of the courthouse giggling and laughing. He clearly didn't think this was a big deal. The Bright's attorneys are asking the DA's office to seek criminal perjury charges against the CPS caseworker and supervisor. Both remain employed with the agency. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.